the people readying up, and you know what, Kiss Me, we are about to kick this off. So how about we do a quick roster rundown here? I'll do Team NV, you can do LSD. So for Team NV, we have their classic lineup. They've been running this lineup for the past definitely a few games in both the EQ number three tournament and the RBT. It is Kimji, Hansuki, Flyby, and Makina. And then of course over on LSD, probably running the strongest lineup that they actually push out here. We have Remix, Sideways Box, Bravo, and Purple. So I mean, if Just they were to bring their names. A game, if they were to bring their A game, this would be it. I mean, LSD's pulling out all stops here. They scrimmed it with this lineup this entire week. They're here to bring it. When you say those names, it's like you run down, it's like, where's the weak link on that team? It doesn't exist. It just doesn't exist. There are, there are so many collective championships and collective experience between those four players. Every time I cast a game of theirs, I'm still blown away. And I am so excited for this point. Server slots are locked. People are readying up. Just waiting on Swib and three members of NV. And then Kiss Me, we are going to see a show here tonight. We have a, do, we, do, we, do we have an LSD worm? Yes, we do have an LSD war. I'm sorry, my neck model wasn't showing for some reason, but now he is, so now we're good. <laughs> but we have an LSD war, that's good. So we obviously only one war, and I do believe Team Envy uses Skype, and they also speak a different language than English. Yes, they do. So we're not going to be doing a war for them. I don't think we've ever actually done a war for Team Envy. Um, maybe if there's enough want, need by the viewers, maybe we'll do it at some point. But for right now, the, the want isn't there, and for me to have to go and actually make, like, that'd probably be like two or three more binds on my keyboard. I'm gonna need another keyboard at some point. I have that feel. <laughs> Obviously, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the pings here. This is actually Stick Up Kids Los Angeles, as Zen did inform me. The Hyper V servers, which had been used in America, are gone. Kiss me. So that entire network of servers originally placed here by Sir due to incidents that happened, obviously, but then also due to his generosity, they are gone. And the LA server that MV had been using is gone as well. So the only I think there's there's at least obviously one LA server that belongs to Stick Up Kids that still exists, but the Hyper Vs are gone. Yeah, it sir did notify me that those would be gone about a month ago after the whole situation did calm down. So it was only a matter of time before those did get taken down. I know that SDK and you know Puppy Isles are, of course, the more popular NA servers. And also, Proet servers, they're looking to start up some servers here for you guys. Um, they'll be hosted by HGK, but HGK and Proet servers basically have a sponsorship going on here. And actually, they're pretty decent servers. I enjoy them. I think they have pretty good registry, but you guys will get to see them in the pugs and whatnot. We're going to try testing some of them out for you guys. And yeah, hopefully they're pretty good and the sponsorship goes well for HDK and, you know, Pratt servers respectively. As soon as Hansuki readies up here, Kiss Me, we are going to be ready to go live. We are going to have Team Envy on the survivor side and Team Long Shong Dudes, I'm just going to call them LSD for short, obviously, on the infected side of things. And I'm looking at the first hit here. Tank's going to be at 74%, which at 46 is going to be a Jockey, a Hunter, a Charger, and a Spitter, it looks like. So I assume LSD is going to try to catch Envy a little bit off guard here while they only have two guns in their hands off this first hit. And as soon as Hansuki comes back, it's go time. I mean, if you guys wanted a match, the match of the tournament, this is probably it. And it, depending on LC makes it to the actual finals brackets, this might be the best match that we'll see for the tournament. The only other really big match I would like to see would be probably Envy vs. Wolfpack rematch. Because that was the closest that we saw Envy coming to crumbling, and it barely missed out. In fact, it should have happened. But actually, that will be the last, last rate of going out there, and we're going to be live here with the first, half, first map, Hard Rain. NB versus Longshong dudes. Well, was this week six of RBT? And you can go ahead and yep. take away this first attack. You got it. As I said before, it's going to be a Charger, a Hunter, a Spitter, and a Jockey here. Team NV working their way at the top, jumping up and down here, blocking the spawns, waiting to see where LSD wants to spawn from, but they are taking their sweet-ass time. It, we have a melee in the hands of Coach and double pistols in the hands of Rochelle, Then the shotguns on Nick and the Uzi's on Alice. Here they come! We have the Charger, Hunter, both spawning up. All three of them go for Nick. Charger whiffs. The Hunter does land with some spit going down top of that, though. Jockey actually holding Nick in the spit. That's a lot of damage going on to Kimchi on that first hit there, Kiss Me. That was an absolutely beautiful attack, and actually, I was in LSD's war room when they actually practiced this first map here. And that, that, that's exactly what they told the, the entire team to do. They were like, we're not even going to go for the death charge, really. We just want to get that damage. And you need me to respect, so I'll go ahead and do that for just for you. Let me know if I'm good enough. You are good now. And actually, that charger was a couple inches away from hitting there. I think, I don't know if he was trying to go for damage or a death charge, but he would have had the death charge had he landed. That being said, second hit is up for LSD. It's a smoker, a charger, a hunter, and a spitter here. As I said, late tank, 74%. Hunters pre spawned on the roof over there, making a lot of noise, and Envy are pushing to the left over here, cleaning their common, doing their very, very typical strategy of running forward a little bit and then making sure they have all the common clear. Hit going in. Hunter going in the back. Smoker and charger both are going to land in the front here. That's going to be a lot of damage going on to Ellis. Plus, a jockey lands here. A couple ticks of damage in the back. But what an effective start for Ellis. 
plus D against NV. That is absolutely beautiful. That's exactly what I want coming out of this tank here. Two survivors on the brink of going into bleed out here. And, I mean, tank is up at 74%, so that's way up ahead at the alley, which will be between the be building and the garage, to say at least. But there is a witch I hear spawning up right now. I'm not too sure if NV's going to go for the crown. They probably could before the uh, next wave of SI do come up here. And she should be up to right there. Indeed, she is. Suika looks like he wants to draw her, but he has an Uzi. So, unless the shotgun wants to take the shot here, I don't know if they're going to go for the witch crown. She is kind of out of the way, so we could see them just avoid her here. I believe they are, and they are running, and they are running their regular lineup of three Uzis, one shotty. Boomer spawning on the bus here, gets a nice single boom out on a coach. Hunter and Jockey both from the house on the right, Smoker coming from the left here, grabs Rochelle. Hunter goes in, gets a beautiful 13 damage pounce on the flyby, and we are seeing something that I have not seen to this level quite yet, Kiss Me. We are seeing three tank damage on Envy. That is a lot of damage. Suika is down in that high 40 range here. We might see the crown oh come God. out. Suika's typing something chatty, it looks like they want to go for the crown. Alice is going to go for the crown, and does just that, gets a 1200 damage onto the crown, or which I should say, and that's going to be the witch down, so that's going to be another 20 points in their pocket, but they still have to deal with this tank, and I mean, there's already well over 100 damage pushed out on them by the hands of the tank is now up in the hands of Swib himself, and do you want to kick it over or leave it here for a minute? One second, and what's he able to do with this hit here? It's going to be a boomer, a spitter, and a charger on the run back. Swib going into position here, moving the one car from way long. I'm expecting a hit here from LSD. Indeed, that boomer just spawned up. The spitter's going to go in there, sack itself as well, and the charger is going to get melted down there. So now will be an appropriate time catching. Let's take it over to that LSD worm for this tech in the hands of Swib. Okay. Charger is really good there. All right, just get on the roof. They're, these guys are not going to get card, so don't even bother. Get on the roof to the right. I think it's good just to have them out there so they can't push them up and that. Just focus on the tripod and the full HP tank, in my opinion. Get the boomer on top of the thing and drop it right now if you can't do anything with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like... You gotta do something. Let's bring it in. No, 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 wait, sideways, wait. At this point, you're gonna have to get on the roof. Just get on the roof and he's gonna commit with you. Do you know how to get on this roof? I got a boom for you. Sideways go. Sideways go before the horde dies. Go. Just go. Try to see what you can do. Phoenix, don't die. Just wait. Phoenix, wait. Phoenix, wait. Try to time it together, Phoenix. Go. Go, 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 go. I got mi- Are you kidding me? Are you shitting me? Who isn't even looking at me? And we're back from that first war room of LSD here. Once again, we do not have the NV war room, but uh, not an uh, okay tank coming out from there from sideways box. Gets two hits, basically one hit and a punch out on those survivors. But at, I don't know, the SI didn't really get much to work with for him. I think what he was trying to do is, after that single boom went out onto Coach, he tried to jump across to get the early lock onto him to get that initial down, unfortunately he fell underneath, and that only left him with, against, actually I think it was two as he's in a shoddy, and then only two SI up at that time, with Coach, he was dealing with the horde all of himself there, so he only got a couple of hits, I think that plan went just a little bit awry for LSD in that situation, however, they still have another hit coming in here right now, we see a boomer going out onto LS for that singular boom, Machina, this is when the MV does beautifully, they use that damage sponge to perfection here, kiss me, and now they're gonna have to waddle that boomer in here if they want a chance to gang a tri cap before the safe room yeah as you said they had the damage sponge to go out there grab that boom and then just back it up and now they're just gonna have to go start as clear off the common from the damage sponge here and they're gonna have to push back through the alley here knowing that there's only three si left up here although lsd would be perfectly happy with them just waiting here a little bit longer let them get that spitter up and then they could do a lot of work here where they're gonna have that spitter charger and a smoker actually what would they have second the boomer for maybe they want a hunter either a hunter Hunter or Jockey, I'm guessing, because they won that tribe. And so we're actually going to see the hit going in right now. Smoker Tongue does miss. Charges down to Rochelle, gets beautifully cleared. Smoker does go in. Hunter looking for a cover, but right there, that's a nice rebound from Envy. Nice sweet coming out. Uh, nice skeet coming out. Nice sweet, yeah, okay. Nice skeet coming out from Kimchi on the sideways box there. Spitter now does get killed as well. But I believe that's going to be safe room for Envy there, I'd say, Kiss Me. I mean, after those first few hits there, they managed to mitigate the damage of the tank really well and then not take any damage after that. They mostly already did. And they've been shutting down the SI attacks pretty effectively since tank. Obviously, it was only one attack, but they've done an okay job. We might see one more brief attack come out here. Jockey has a spawn with a smoke and charger. Charger coming here, gets a one punch onto LSA before wrapping around. Gets to charge onto Rochelle, but she was already smoked. And Jerky's going to get melee there in the safe room door. And Spitter's going to go to free spit there. And that's going to delay him a little bit longer. Let some bleed out occur. But that's all she wrote. I mean, this round's pretty much over here. And they're sitting at a huge 4 420 health bonus. How soon? Okay. Yeah, well, the other thing is they're also going to get 20, I think they're going to get 20 points for that witch, so it's a 424 bonus, plus a 20 points for that, for that witch, but 
I'll be honest, for that tank in that situation, in that position like that for survivors, that's a pretty easy tank to take in my opinion, unless something goes terribly wrong. The head coach blocking the right spawns up there, they were able to get away from the tank and get separation, and now it's going to come down really, I, I think the matchup of the night is not going to be, uh, not really a whole focus on Envy Survivor, but I'd say how well LSD Survivor deals with the Envy Infected, because that 844 points right there, yeah, that's a good first chapter, very, very solid, but it's not anything outrageous. So I think it's really going to be how effective the Survivor of Long Shlong Dudes is versus Envy's Infected. Yeah, I mean, LSDs, they're going to have to really come together here. There's no doubt about it. They're going to play the best Survivor probably we've ever seen them play to actually make this game happen. Because they have to keep up with the Survivor play of Envy. Yeah. And with that being said, we're live here with the second half. First attack coming out here from Team Envy as soon as LSD leaves the safe room. And LSD, they can do this. They have some amazing Survivor play themselves. I'm not going to sell them short by any means. They can certainly keep up with Envy. It definitely can, and this first hit's going to be a big precursor to that, I'd say, because if they can mitigate the damage here on the first hit and get their way to those guns, they will be in perfect position. Not saying the MV Infected's bad by any means. They are world-class in both departments. That's how they've done so well. And now we're going to see a little bit of a waiting game here, and if there's anybody who can outlast LSD here, I think it's going to be Envy, because they have practice with that kind of thing. Piss me. I wouldn't even be surprised if LSD right here just decided to, you know, completely negate this attack and just push forward, you know, double pistols. I mean, they're not going to do that, but I, I wouldn't put that past them at this point. I think they would like to do something different. Although they know that this is a pretty good hit to actually take on the trailer, so they're probably not going to put themselves in that kind of situation. They might drop down one at a time here and grab weapons. Yeah, I think they are indeed going to do that. It's a spitter, a jockey, a hunter, and a charger here for MV on this hit. Hunter is spawned up, going in for Ellis. Ellis gets a beautiful skeet out there. Charger is down below, getting chipped. Jockey getting chipped as well. Charger misses. Jockey lands, but immediately cleared. What a shutdown. That was absolutely beautiful. That Alice did a wonderful job there, baiting the entire attack towards him. Charger went towards him, missed. Hunter went in, got skeeted, and then Jockey landed on the back of his head. But the Jockey was so chipped by the time it landed on Alice's head that it, it just died with the next pelt of uh, shotgun shots that came at it. And with that being said, Alice is going to be free to take the camp here, a really late attack coming in. And they're going to be able to push into the playground here, which is wide open area with barely any contestation. Indeed, that smoker is going for the alarm car, but then backs off. So that must have been an attempt at a quick pull there. Now the smoker's going to go despawn. It's a boomer, a hunter, and a jockey here. So it looks as though now LSD are going to be able to push their way forward. Smoker is still the alarm car, kiss me. I'm not too sure what the smoker's doing. He's probably going to back out, I would think. Unless he's going to try and I thought he already. was, but then he, he came back, and Boomer gets a beautiful spawn in that tree for a single boom. But Bravo is staring right at that smoker's face. So they know it's back there, and that's the single boom out. Hunter making noise, spawned up on the side, and I guess this is the attack. They're going in here, beautiful skeet, by sideways box. Jockey gets an annihilated, and now we're going to see that smoker get a brief pull on the remix, but what control right there by LSD. I got to say this, usually that's a nice crowd. Bravo gets the crown, too. Dude, LSD is playing so well off those first two hits right here. Usually they're seen as with people with a bunch of shotties who run far through the map trying to kill everything, but look at the control that they have, Kiss Me. Yeah, LSD's given Envy a taste of their own medicine. They're showing some pretty high, uh, I don't know, concentration, patience here. I mean, call it what you want. They're playing the game just like Envy does. 100 bounces onto Sideways Box right there. Gets a little bit of damage on him. Charger will then also take Alice and pound him back into the ground. Spit does go on top of that. That's going to be a lot of damage onto Sideways Box, actually. And this can drop him down into yellow. So uh, the first bleeder comes out here for LSD. And actually, we didn't see that coming out from Envy until at post tank, I should say. But Bravo's going to go ahead and push forward here. Triggers the tank. And Tank will be up in the hands of Suika here, 14 men. Jockey coming to try to make something happen, but not going to find anything. He gets shut down by the hands of Rochelle. And once again, this is a this is make or break moment here for LSD. They have to shut down this tank. They have to make it with yeah. you know, a, an approximate 300, 350 health bonus if they want to keep it close. Hell, hell they could even beat out Envy's health bonus. Hunter has pre spawn. He's going to be forced to pounce around here, looking to make something happen. And I don't know what he did that right there, but he got killed off. Smoker Envy. looking for a pull onto Swift. Does manage to grab it. Going to pull him back across the car, but Tank's too far away to actually capitalize on that. Envy's sacking for something. I think they want a boomer. I'm not entirely sure. I know they sent that hit in there as a sack. And the tank is actually going to go through the house here. Let let me tell you right here, I have seen a lot of tanks, I've casted a lot of matches, Kimchi is one of the world's best, kiss me, we know this from experience. Yeah, Kimchi, his tanks are, I don't want to say the best in the world because there's a lot of people who quit in contention for the best, but top three, no doubt, he has a, he has a style, he has the skill, you know, he could make anything happen, and if he wants a wipe here, he could make it happen, and with the SI sport of Envy, we can most certainly see that happen. Look at this strategy, he is shoving all the cards he possibly can right into the faces of LSD. Beautiful long boom going out, propane tank does stumble the tank. 
but not a whole lot going in. He, he has a spawn down here, but he has these cards right where he wants them. He's going in. Hunter lands on Rochelle, punching Rochelle out of distance there. Boomer gets popped, but doesn't proxy. Tank is almost alone here right now, as a matter of fact. Getting punches out on the Bravo, but the melees are out, and that's a dead tank by LSD right there, and that is less damage being taken by them on that tank, kiss me. They are sitting at 528 health bonus right now. A hundred oh above of God. where we saw the NV finish map. If they take these next two attacks, because it's probably going to be two more attacks before they make a save from If they can take these two next hits really well, we could see LSD win this first map here, and that will be huge for the morale. They can actually say, all right, we can definitely do this. NV is not out of our league, and all we needed was a little bit of practice, and that was it. Exactly, and now, these, interestingly enough, these are the two teams that faced off in the EQ number two finals, as a matter of fact, the EQ Cup number two finals here, and Envy, of course, did win that, but that was on a two-server game. The pings here are actually extremely balanced. You know, uh, maybe 20, 10 seconds in favor of the average ping, I'd say, but, I mean, honestly, Remix's ping is just as bad as anybody's on Envy there, so even though it's an American-based tournament, this is pretty balanced, I'd say. And this hit needs to count for Envy here. They have a Smoker, a Hunter, a Charger, and a Spitter for this hit, and LSD you're inside here kiss me yeah this is definitely the safer play that we see a lot of north americans do nowadays they go inside this house and from here they will push away completely past alleyway and if they want they can push straight out across the street towards the tree where the smoke energy spawns it kind of negates all the si spawns all together but we're gonna see it nick just clearing out some more common here with the deagle the one shot killer as they call it and i mean LSD, this is the ball's in the court here. Bravo still hasn't popped his pills, so but he is slow. He's in the yellow along with Sawyer's box, so we're gonna probably see him pop them before this next attack, as they probably don't want to take. Look at how down. much, look at how much LSD is baiting this out. This is beautiful. They have the hunter in the back there, getting chipped down already. Hansuki spawned up. We're gonna be seeing LSD, I think, making their way outside right now. Indeed, they are. Hunter's chipped, smoker on the side. Hunter coming in there. Pole goes out, gets cleared. Hunter dies. Oh my god, what a shutdown. Only one hunter has landed this entire map so far, and that was on the sideways box. The hunter came from the side and actually wall kicked him, I think. So LSD, they're not letting the hunters touch him. And same can go for jockeys, actually. I think only one jockey's landed as well. The HUK's in an they're amazing job. In. They're in. They are in. That's it. That's the end of this round right here. There's gonna be spawns coming up, but long shlong dudes are gonna make Get to the safe room with a higher bonus and take a 948 to 844 point NV off this first chapter here, Kiss Me. And this is, this is right, this right here is the first time in this entire tournament that NV has been behind in a game. Not, not even just 100 points, 104 points. Like the four points actually count for that much, but it's just showing we can out 100 the, these guys on any map. We can beat these guys on any map. I mean, 100 can translate into 300 on the longer maps that are worth more. It's perfectly plausible here that we could see NV, you know, their win streak shattered right here. I mean, LSD, this is do or die for them. and They're not here to take this game lightly. They're going to put everything they have in this game. The Hunters have not had an easy time landing, and for that matter, no SI attacks had an easy time landing. Not an The SI attacks haven't really okay, even existed. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm okay? trying. To, I'm not even moving the. I, I'm not even moving the camera. I'm like trying to think. I'm like, oh my god, LSD. Like they just they shattered the, the SI. Like LSD did an amazing job, and they pretty much mirrored NV. Like NV, you don't see a lot of SI attacks hit them. LSD let even less SI attacks hit them, and it. LSD is doing good. I gotta give it to them. They're 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 throwing it all out there. Me, you are in the you're you are saying what I am feeling right now. I'm keeping my words a little bit more articulate, but I have to say, holy shit, this is gonna be one hell of a game, and if it was any indication here, this lead so far. But you have there's one thing here that LSD need to avoid. They need to avoid letting up that kind of consistency on their survivor side here because we know MV can pull off wipes. We know MV can rebound. They haven't had to do it in a while, but it is definitely in their power. This is nowhere near over. Yeah, I mean, with the Wolfpack game, when we saw Envy go up against them, we obviously saw, you know, Envy a little bit on the border of being, you know, taking a loss there. But this Hunter is pre-spawned here, so I'll hold that for another day. Hunter is pre-spawned here in the room next to Envy. Oh, no, wait. Actually, this is LSD. Oh, my God. LSD on Survivor. I... Jockey Boomer. Jockey Boomer Hunter Spitter here. Hunter going in there right now. Does manage to land on a Rochelle, but the spit is way late. Jockey going in manages to land, too. Quick clear goes out, but Swib... Swib stands in the spit and has some trouble backing into the safe room there. And that right there is exactly... We're going to see that Boomer go in there. He gets M2'd like four times there by Bravo, and then Bravo does pop him. But that right there is what... That you cannot give Envy that kind of damage. Yeah, unfortunately there. Hey, fine. When I hit... I can't, I can't even think right now. <laughs> Swib having a little bit of a hard time there finding the hold of the safe room door. But he does eventually find it and find safety. But yeah, we're going to see LSD just continue to push through. I don't feel right saying Envy's on SI first. We're not used to that. Hunter respawned on the side. 
Hunter Bison on the side here. They want to go in with this. It's going to be a Spitter, a Jackie, a Charger, and then a aforementioned Hunter. LSD taking their sweet time, which is what they should be doing right here, in my opinion. Hunter's going to try to wall kick over that radiator. That's no, not a radiator. That's an air vent. What the hell am I talking about? Jockey spawn on the side over there. Making noise distraction here. MV pulling out all the stops right now on their SI because they know they know what LSD can do to them. They need to stop that. Jockey going to there. Jockey is going to get picked. Hunter goes in. Charger man just to get a beautiful charge, though, going on to Bravo. So that's going to be some damage. Actually, that's Swib again. That wasn't Bravo. That's Swib who caught that charger. Swib is getting beat up by Envy right now. I mean, that's probably fine, though, because after the first deck, Swib was pretty much nominated or given the role of Damage Sponge. So he's he's perfectly liable here to take all the damage he wants. They have the pills to actually back it up, though, and that's the important thing here. So Swib can't exactly, you know, go on a spree here with just any red attack, but he can take the brunt of damage from every attack, and his team will feel perfectly fine about it. We do have an attack here gearing up Smoker Boomer with a Hunter and Jockey, so a lot of separation potential here with that Boomer, Smoker, and Jockey. Hunter can basically just pin one in one position, obviously. And Hunter's just passed around here. I think he's just looking to make some noise. They're probably not going to throw the attack in right now. Although Jockey is positioning now. We could see going here very shortly. It is. Smoker and... They're going to do it. I think they're going to do it here. That Jockey's repositioning. That Hunter's making the noise. They're going to wait for him to get farther and, and walk into that Boomer spawn. Tank is up. Boomer gets a single boom onto Rochelle. Jockey goes in, gets killed. Boomer gets popped. Hunter is still spawned up there, so the two SI right here are still in the hands of NV players. And we're gonna be having a try cap coming up. Tank in the hands of Machina. I don't know, kiss me. I don't know if they want to play Rock here on the NV side of things, if they want to send this in. Tank is very, very close right now. Gonna throw a rock in there, not gonna land anywhere near them. But LSD gotta be careful here right now, because they know a try cap is coming up. Tank is going in, as a matter of fact, as I say that. So here we go, this is for all the marbles. Tank going in there right now, chasing them around the generator. Hasn't been able to cast one yet. Going in, missing a punch. Already down to 2k health. SI support coming in. Smoker gets immediately cleared. Hunter gets a pin. Jockey gets dead stopped. And that is going to be the second kill on a tank in two chapters by Team Long Shlong Dudes without taking it down. I'm speechless. Machina, I don't know what happened, but he just couldn't find a target. And when he did, he missed the punches. He, he, I think he missed two punches on the stars, which would have de guaranteed him a down. But unfortunately, he just couldn't do it. He was down at 2k HP when he missed the last one. And then the survivor just railed into him. And that's, a, that, that's as you said, a dead tank. And Sarvis is sitting huge right now at 728 health bonus. And Envy, oh, man. Envy, Envy doesn't look the same. LSD is doing something does different not look here. The same. And we have a boomer spawning up here right now. Goes in and gets a double boom. That's going to cause the survivors to back up here. But man, the, uh, another hit action is going to go in here right now. Smoker immediately getting cleared. Charger going in there, missing everything. And even with a double boom, the rest of that hit does no damage right there. LSD are repping it right now. And this is incredible so far by them. Yeah, I mean, LSD, if they get the win here, they are guaranteed a spot in the final eight, which means we uh, might no, see no, another... No, 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 They're not guaranteed just a spot in the final. If they beat NV, I believe they're the number one seed. Really? Uh, it'll come down to resistance points, but I don't know how those tiebreakers come out, I'll be honest. That, that's going to be real close here. They are going to be close to being the number one seed if they manage to beat NV, depending on the resistance points. But if they beat NV here, that's going to shake up the Left 4 Dead 2 world. We have a smoker spawning in the front here, Brimmer on the side, Hunter as well, and that's a crash. Indeed it is. Machina taking a crash there from Team Envy. We will see the pause come out here from Suika. He was a smoker, so obviously there will be no smoker here for Team Envy on this attack. But they still have an okay attack if they can manage to make uh, Hunter land and maybe just dogpile everything else on top of the survivor. That's pretty much their best, best bet as it stands right now. Unless we see HGK, or not HGK, but LSD just back up here and wait, which I don't think we will. It won't do that. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't, I don't think LSD is going to do that. This is pretty much where all the marbles, you know, your, your, teammate, your teammate crashed. You know, we're sorry to hear that, but we're taking this choke. I think that's definitely going to happen here. That boomer spawned up way, way in advance. Hunter up there as well. And you know what? We are going to see them fall back here and give that spawn a time to come up. Ah, never mind. They're going forward. Ha <laughs> ha. Boomer goes in there right now. Now Hunter goes in there too, going for a show. Gets skeeted again. Boomer coming in. Oh, these shutdowns by LSD right here are the things of... This is the best I've seen them play in. Uh, you know what? I've seen them play amazingly, but this is something special here, Kiss Me. Yeah, LSD pulling all the stops. L is pushing forward right now. He knows we can make it to the top here before all the SI do come up. Oh. Jack gets the pre-spawn, though. Going to back yeah. L's down a notch there. So L is exactly. getting a Bravo. little... Bravo really wanted to take that choke. Like, he really wanted to. 
but the hit for NV is exactly what they want. So Smoker, a Charger, a Spitter, and a Jockey here. Jockey going in. Jockey getting chipped. Jockey getting killed. Tongue getting cleared. Charger going in. Charger's gonna miss. Spit is has nothing right here. Tries to throw out a spit block, but that is going to be a take of the top right there by the long schlong dudes with almost no damage. They are sitting at a 716 health bonus right now. I feel bad saying this, but Longshot Dude is definitely on top of this game right now. Doing an amazing job here. There is a Witch out at the elevator. I can't get to the camera fast enough, but it's always back. So we'll take the easy Good crown there. So, yeah, Swib just showing off right there. Again, the easy crown saying, we know all the guys that are down. But yeah, I, I mean, Alice had the right idea initially there, pushing that staircase. He, he knew that the yes, I didn't have a spawn time was up, but he forgot Suika, or no, not Suika, but Manica actually did crash. Another attack is coming here. Charger actually managed to land on the one survivors this attack. Hunter once again getting skated by hands of sideways box. Spitter shut down as well, and Boom's gonna not find a target here. Swift just pelts him in the face with a buckshot. But I mean, back to that choke, Alice had the right idea, but once again, once Manica, or I can't say it right. Machina, once Machina did crash, it reset his spawn timer right away, so he was up a little bit earlier than the rest of his SI uh, friends. So obviously he did get the jockey in time to actually back Alice down and not. And I think that might have rushed the, that, the rest of their SI attack, because I felt like they should have just waited for the third story. But regardless, Alice did make it past that, and they're sitting high right now. A 648 hey, health bonus. Oh, but there's going to be an attack right here, I believe. Jockey going in, making a distraction. Hunter going in there, getting needled by Remix. Charger goes in there, misses. Hunter gets killed. That's going to be no damage onto the perm health. All the all, Nothing landed, and Swib took all the damage. I mean, how many hunters have, have landed? They have, Could you count they have on two more hits, kiss me. They have two more hits. Could you count on a single hand right now how many hunters have landed on LSD this entire game so it's far? It's like one. It's I, like one at the start of this chapter, and that's about it. Because I'm watching these hunters just fly left and right, ragdolled. Like, they're not landing. <laughs> it's just, it's amazing to watch LSD, they are running oh, so many is, shotguns. This is not going to be good, because this is a terrible hit right here for NB. Double Boom does land, but it's, it's a 2-2 it's a two -two with that, so I think they're actually just going to chill in the elevator for a second. Spinner's at the bottom as well. Smoker Hunter, I mean, that's actually probably the right call right there by NV to send that in before the field. That's definitely what they intended here. They either want to get a jockey or a charger for the rest. We're going to see LSD push out. Spitter trying to keep himself alive. Actually see the melee poke through the wall of the, of the, <laughs> of the shed there. Smoker's going to spawn up in the field too. Hunter bouncing around. This is, might be the last hit indeed for NV in this sense. So they need to make this happen. Common coming in here right now. It's going to be a jockey, so no charger. Smoker pull goes out. Tongue, actually, Hunter takes the smoked guy. And then we're going to see the spit go down on top of that, but not a whole lot of damage on the Bravo. Bravo backpedaling here. Smoker Tongue is nowhere near up. Jockey gets killed. And kiss me, we are about to see Team Longshong dudes here. Hold on, they clear that Smoker. Spitter is the only thing they got left in this sense. They are going in. They're going inside. Spit is going to bounce, actually, in the safe room. So that might delay them for a second here. Charter is up as well and spawn. But they are blocking those spawns very, very well. And we are going to see Team LSD go into the safe room with a 560 health bonus. That is huge. <laughs> oh my god. LSD pulling out every single stop you could Did imagine. I not tell you every that the, stop you could I told talk you the match, about. Hey, hey, I told you the match of the game was going to be their Survivor versus Envy's Infected. And this is exactly why, because they have set... LSD's infected up. If LSD gets a wipe here, kiss me. If they get a wipe at any point in the game, as long as their survivor keeps playing like this, Envy is going to lose. I call it right now. I mean, even if they just take out all the permanent health of L or Envy and we see them still make the safe room, they're still going to be down around 700, not, it'll be more like 670 points or so, going into the third map. That's detrimental. That's a huge deficit to be in, in this map. I mean, we will see the finale play on this map, but that's nothing to joke about. That's huge. That's insane. And now LSD, they are in the position they definitely want to be in here. They need to choke Envy out with their special infected here. They got, they got, they need to limit that insanely powerful survivor of Envy because Envy can do the exact same thing LSD just did though, kiss me. They, they can do the exact same thing. Yeah, I mean, once, once again, we see another disconnect come out here from Team Envy, Hansuki uh, desing there a little bit. But he will be right back. And yeah, I mean, once again, as we've said throughout the entire tournament, Envy is their survivor side you have to worry about. It's not their SI. And we're going to see now if LSD has what it takes in the long run to make a wipe happen on Envy. I mean, they definitely have it. I believe in Purple. I believe in Swib, Bravo, Remix. I mean, these four people, once again, have been around the game forever. Purple's revered as one of the best players, if not the best player in the entire community. I mean, they have the capacity. I mean, I know, I know now Flyby is going to say Flyby is the best. Remix has been around forever. 
Sideways Box has been around forever. Bravo's been around forever. They've played on teams together countless times here. And Purple is seen as... I, many people see Purple as the best player in the North American scene and one of the best in the world. People argue Flyby, who's playing against him right now, could also be the best. But, I mean, uh, the accolades, the tournaments, the play that they come out with, and look at where this hunter is, kiss me. I see. So we're Go gonna do, we're gonna do a little bit of hunter POV. Guys. We're gonna do a little bit of POV here on the hunter. Hopefully he doesn't cause any upsets here. But uh, let's see if he can imagine, land this 25 DP. I, we're playing this thing, they tie attack, go in, and he'll be in last. I don't think we'll see him initiating, or else it's pretty much a free skeet, I would think. But yeah, we're going to see... Yeah, I, I would say so. I mean, it's it's a 2-2 two -two hit. They're going for the sure damage here. If that DP lands, that is massive. And they're going to see how we make it happen here. MV coming in. Hunter goes in first, and he lands it. Bravo gets a 25 on, on to fly by right there. Plus the spit going down, and the jockey. That is an insane amount of damage. What a pounce by Bravo. First attack knocks him down to a 10-24 health bonus. And that's down from a 1,200. That is huge. And this is pre-tank. Tank's not even close. They're going to have to go through another full attack here before they actually get to the tank. And I'm not too sure who the tank will actually be because we can't see on the server. But, I mean, any of these tanks can be detrimental to Envy's health. And, oh my god. LSD, huge pounds that are coming out from Bravo. I mean, not even waiting for the initiation. Just going in solo and landing it. He did. They, they, they managed to get Envy's focus on something else there. It's a Charger, a Hunter, a Jockey, and a Spitter. This is a massive damage potential here once more. Jockey repositioning here. Envy have to be rattled a little bit at this point. I know they are well-renowned for their stability, but this is a definitely rattling image right here from LSD so far. Waiting to see them come forward here. Flyby is the damage sponge right here, but he does still have a lot of perm on him if they manage to land on him. Jockey repositioning once again. Hunter in the back. Charger and the Spitter from the top of that silo. We should be seeing it relatively soon. Envy pushing forward here, blocking some of those spawns. We have the Hunter spawned up, bouncing on the wall. They're all going in. Jockey lands in the back. We're going to see the Charger turn around. Does not land, but that Hunter also manages to land with a spit on top of that. And that is even more damage on the MV right there. Kiss me. All these hits are landing. Yeah, I mean, if that Charger definitely landed, that would have been obviously the tri cap there. Spitter would have had a new target to spit down onto, but Fulcher Charger did miss. I think the Spitter would have made the wrong choice there. It went for the spit onto the Jockey, but Hunter was directly below it. And I think the spit would have been down for much longer if it decided to actually spit down on the Hunter. But for oh, some God, reason, it's purple. Did he it, this is huge. This could definitely turn into a wipe here. Purple, one of the best tanks in the game for a long time, and I don't even know what to say. I, you just want those over, or, or let's let's throw this over to an LSD worm right here for the tank in the hands of Purple. Ready, Charger, and Hunter should go in right now, and then Charger follow. Let's go. That's okay, they're pushing forward. Maybe I'll get a good beam right here somewhere. You should give him that spot where Purple got hit on the last game we played. Fuck! He was <laughs> almost out of ammo. Fuck! We have a tricap. I'd say just come in with a tricap. So, yeah, that's what I asked. Yeah. Do dance. you want us to help you early so you can probably get on a silo after like a no. nickap? No. no. Hold up, let me actually like get in position, you're fine on ridge. I gotta go. Alright, you're good. Call it any water for me. I'll come back. I got meleeed because this guy knows how to play video games pretty good. And we're back yet again from another worm up on LSD. Around. A lot of damage going down want, onto NV. I'm looking at it right there. That's a lot of damage going out right here. And the health bonus only separate by 56 points right here. That was a great tank by Purple. He really, really knows exactly how to... Actually, Smoker by, in the hands of Swib is going to get chipped down a lot there. I don't know what that was about. But at that point, he used the advantage of his... The long way in which he's played this game and the way in which he's played this game forever to turn around and get that initial punch onto... I believe it was Flyby. And he was able to get a nice jump rock as well. Bripper going in here right now. And as I mentioned, there's only 60 points at this point separating these two bonuses. We have a Jockey going in, landing on the Machina. We have a Spit going in the back, and that Jockey has a massive amount of separation, taking Ellis completely far. That's the down, and that is the round one by LSD, kiss me. That is huge coming up from Hypnot Tank. I believe that is purple, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, so it is purple here. 
beautiful attack coming out there, getting the separation, working with it, what they were given. And, I mean, once again, going back on that tank of purple, beautiful. He got two hits he probably shouldn't have gotten. He got the punch on Els when he turned around 180 from the shack. And then he also got a rock onto Rochelle, which kind of hitboxed her around the shack. So purple pulling 48 damage, which shouldn't have been. But, yeah, that health is going to go down below 560. So that's too much. That's LC's round right now. And Envy still has a long way to go and a lot of big trouble. So no attack coming in here. Hunter, Charger, Boomer, we're going to weigh in here. Hunter lands onto Nick to start this off. Charger still looking to target. Not going to find anything. Go gets railed down very fast there by Envy. And Spitter also going to be shut down right after. Pretty much not even throwing the spit out because there was no point in doing that. And, uh, I mean, LSD. LSD winning the second round here. And Envy, they're not out of it just yet. Oh, they're definitely not. We still have the third and the fourth and the fifth map to go through here, but this is a beautiful performance by LSD so far. The more damage they do, the more they're going to have the lead going into the third map. Nicely coming up here for them as well. Smoker, Hunter, a Boomer, and a Jockey here for their hit. Jockey spawns up here right away, dancing around with Ellis. Hunter pre-spawns in the corner as well. Going to wait to see what they do here because the Witch is also at the elevator. Hunter going for the one on the bottom. Going to get killed very, very nicely right there by Hansuki. Jockey going in, and that was probably one of the more disorganized attack here unless they're trying to sack. Boomer gets popped as well. So, I mean, this, this Smoker is going to be up, but they are going to draw that Witch across, I believe. Actually, no, Smoker's going to bunny hop in here right now, and they do shoot the Witch with an Uzi, but then the Shotgun should be able to pretty much annihilate that. Yeah, Witch is going to go in there for Rochelle, but... I don't know. She's still going. Yes, no, just... That was too close for comfort. Oh, my God. You that thought witch, that was going to actually land? I, I thought that witch was going to land. Rochelle with an Uzi, and that witch was like, you know, 15 feet from her. I was, uh, oh my god. And then what if that witch actually went to the right side instead of left and then tracked the way that the survivors expected her to? I'm not sure. We do have another hit up for LSD here. Hunter coming in. Going to actually get nicely skeeted by Machina. Charger gets chipped down completely. Not going to land. Boomer does manage to land a single boom, but that's more like the MV we're used to seeing right there. I'd say kiss me with those kind of shutdowns. Yeah, I mean, with this area being as it is, there's not really all that many spots for the SI to come from. So they're pretty limited on their spawn locations, and it gives MV a good, you know, general understanding of where the spawns are, to say the least. So we're not going to see any big hits coming out here, most likely. But, I mean, this cornfield... This cornfield has been known to break Elevator dreams. Here. This thing is a monster. Oh, we actually had a, a hit spawn up there, and that chipped the jockey down to 256. A hunter spawned up as well, and I think the hunter actually wants to sack it, indeed he does. And we might see a delay by the spit here too, but that jockey did get chipped, kiss me, so I think they're just looking for the right sack order. Yeah, I think they were trying to make a charger appear here. I'm not too sure if they're going to get it because the jockey didn't die. Only the hunter died. So they have like a 1 in 2 chance right now of actually getting that charger. And Spitter just pre-spit just to lane them, I'm guessing. And we're going to have a jockey with a smoker. And we're waiting to see what Swib is because he's, uh, it's up to him. He might be a hunter. No, he's a charger. A charger. So they have max separation capacity here with the smoker oh on top of the charger. So this could be a big hit here. Charger setting up in the back with the Smoker. Jockey's already pre-spawned in the front here. Spitter, I'm not too sure where he is. Smoker has spawned up now with the Charger. Glenn's sending the attack in right now. Jockey coming from the side. Smoker, Charger from the back here. Charger's still looking to make something happen. Gets the pull on her shell that is helpful. Just takes oh! her away into the back. Wow, and that's going to be a nice... Miss. But the Spit missed, but still, that took down that bonus even more. Ellis. And, um, and Ellis goes down. I think Ellis just walked into the Spit. <laughs> what? Right then. I'm not sure. I don't think Machina saw that. And I mean, that right there, it's going to be a almost a 300-point advantage now. Almost 400 with the map one added in. But they're not in the safe room yet. They could still get another hit coming out here. Boomer spawns up, manages to land onto Ellis. Jockey really looking for a spawn here. I manages to get it. Going in there right now, manages to land onto Ellis again. Spit going down. Ellis is a little bit trapped. They He's dead! They just killed Machina! They killed him! Ellis is dead. That is one <laughs> dead for NV. They walk in the safe room, but their health bonus is shabby. They are behind. Don't know what it is now. They are behind by almost 500 points to LSD after two maps. Can I say that again? They are behind by almost 500 points to LSD after two maps. Oh my god. I'm sweating. LSD, first two maps, pulling out a 500 point lead here over NV. And they, they're not done. We got three more maps of this. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to take this, Kiss Me. I don't know. Uh, I mean, the tank's, at, the tank's at 60 here, so we could see potentially a death charge, obviously, and the, it, re it, re it really is going to depend on where the survivors take this tank to depend on the special effectiveness effectiveness, too. But LSD, 
They gotta keep the speed rolling. They gotta not eat a death charge, obviously, and they have to preserve before this tank. This is a tank that can definitely go a lot of ways. They cannot lose it now, Kiss Me. They need to keep this going. If there's gonna be a turnaround in this game, I believe it happens here. Bravo with that spray. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to talk to him about it. <laughs> that spray in the safe room. I can totally have to reposition my camera whenever he sprays it. But yeah, we're gonna see the third map going live here. NV versus LSD. Once again, third map. LSD on Survivor up by about 500 points at this point. And... Oh my god. I don't even know what to say. I'm just speechless right now. I can't wait for the tanks. Because the tanks are gonna be the turning points. If not, the make or break points here. Indeed. Now, I mean, they're gonna take it very, very cautiously here. It seems as though they were anticipating an inside hit. But it's gonna be a smoker, a jockey, a charger, and a spitter. I'm curious here because... That spit is not going to be extremely effective in that field, I don't believe, unless they obviously land one of the Charger or either the Jockey if there's a nice separation going on. But from the way they've been playing so far, LSD, this is the calmest and the most strategic, and except for that 10 damage just went out on Swib, 8 damage went out on Swib, somebody shot him, I'm not exactly sure who. But besides a couple little blips here, they have been, like, almost militaristically good. Yeah, I mean, LSD, once again, they've done an impeccable job to this point. You can't even nitpick them. They've done just so perfectly well. They shut down all this SI as they walk in. Jockeys, Chargers, Hunters, you name it. They've shut them down so fast before they're able to land. Envy can't get anything going. They can't get the momentum behind them to actually carry them throughout the rest of this game. And LSG is just running away with it. They're just picking them apart bit by bit with each SI attack. And then even over on the other half, we see them on their SI half just picking them apart on the survivors bit by bit. LSD taking it one step at a time, and it's paying off. It really is. This jockey's pre spawn in the front there. Charger spawns long as well. Wait and see where the smoker wants to come from. Looks like he wants to go from the back. This could be an insanely, insanely good hit for Envy if they actually manage to land everything, obviously. And Charger is positioning to the back now. Jockey's going in. Jockey gets them too. Jockey gets chipped down by a lot. They're all going to come in here right now. Tongue goes in, gets immediately cleared. Jockey goes in, gets immediately cleared. And LSD are systematically making NV, like, they're giving NV a taste of their own medicine right now. That smoker's tongue is recharged, but the charger and spitter are still up, and they're spamming the field right now. Like, LSD knows they don't have a boomer, they know they can take their sweet-ass time, and they are doing just that. They're just gonna keep inching their way along here, just waiting. And, and honestly, NV's falling for it. This charger, smoker pull goes out again, they clear it immediately. Charger actually does manage to land, so that's gonna be some damage out, but... Spit missed! Pull, spit missed! Oh no, I think he landed on the swoop for a bit there. He took a lot of damage from something. Effectively, it missed. I mean, it was close, but Boomer spawned up there. It gets beautifully popped by Swib. And depending on that sack order, they might have a charger. I thought this spit did miss Swib, but I guess it did land Machina with 22 points. I'm assuming that's where it came from. And yeah, they're going to make it into the elevator here. Just beasting that hit. And they actually found a set of pills inside that shack down below. So Swib will pop that B back up to 100. He's going to bleed out. Here we though, go. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, this is crucial because it's a jockey, a charger, and a spitter. But you know what? I don't think MV. I don't think they're gonna go for the death charge no. here. I think they're gonna go for damage. Yeah, I think they want pure damage. They're probably gonna wait for LC to drop down to the second floor and then probably throw the attack in Ooh. here. And is gonna pretty soon here. If they're actually gonna throw it in here with no pre-spawns. I'm looking at it here. With no pre-spawns, they probably know they're safe. Maybe. Okay, yeah, they know they're safe. They know they're setting up for damage now. This is gonna be a very, very venom hit by MV. I have seen this happen before a couple times, but. It's really, really dependent on what the survivors do. Because if they get separated, they're going to get destroyed. But if they stay together, they should be able to stop this pretty well. Charger wants to spawn behind one of those pillars there. Smoker in the same spot. Jockey looking to reposition. They're sending they're sending Bravo Flower to block those spawns over there. And now he has managed to wrap around. And we're seeing something said yeah. by <laughs> EO. I'm not exactly sure what that means. But now they're going to drop down. They're going to take the next floor. Smoker drops to the very bottom. And now they know the smoker's up, they know the spitter's up, and they are just working their way systematically floor by floor. Pull does go out and gets cleared. Charger manages to land there onto Rochelle. That's going to be the first big amount of damage I think we've seen onto LSD in the last couple chapters. Jockey landing two to complete the two cap. Bravo that might be an in cap. Might, no, 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 close. Oh, wow. Really he's at, close. He's at, he's at one. That was a little bit of a misplay by LSD there, kiss me. Yeah, Bravo getting a little bit separated, going a little bit further than his teammates actually anticipated him to go. They're wrapping around the entire second floor, and uh, once again, he just got a little bit further ahead of his team there. And he paid for it dearly, losing all of his permanent down to that red zone. And I'm not too sure where this witch is. Uh, is she up top? No. That's she a weird is. Spot. She's, she's right behind the generator thing there, like the wheel of that, the wheel of the sugar mill contraption there. I mean, Bravo is going to have to take this, it seems. Hunter's pre-spawn at the top there. Boomer, Smoker, and a jockey for the rest. 
But this is crucial here, Kiss Me. If they f if they screw up this crown, they could get wiped, honestly. Yeah, this is going to be absolutely huge here for LSD. Once again, as you said, if they mess up this up, this could definitely be a whip here. Jockey goes in there looking to get that scratch down onto Bravo. I think they're trying to bait up the SI here with Bravo's low health here. And Jockey going in, only needs a scratch, but they gets shut down there by Bravo. Really nice shot there. Bravo is going to be able to keep inching his way along here. They managed to kill that Jockey, but... Oh, he's going to draw the Witch from far. Smoker's up in the front here. Expect a tongue clear. Hunter gets annihilated. They pull the wrong guy, and Bravo hits the crown. Beautifully shut down there. Hunter getting skeeted from a mile away by those shotguns and Uzis of LSD. And Sweek is saying something else I don't understand. Boomer jumping, gets double sh shoved away, and still gets popped by Bravo. <laughs> I think they know that the Boomer didn't boom just yet. So if they did back off, Bravo was too slow to get out of the range of that boom. So basically, he was going to get boomed out of the way pretty much. But he will actually take it down here from the hands of the common, I think that was. Spitter coming from that, gets the spit down, and oh, Charger going no. in, lands a single charge, but oh, Spitter already wow. down, so he's going to be free oh, wow, of damage that from close. that point. Because the tank is up in the hands of Flyby, 14 MB, they need to Bravo, but indeed they do. And this tank is not going to be able to go in here right now, but... Okay, that's a down... Alright, they got out of it, but if that down had stayed down any longer, like, that charge had intercepted the person picking Bravo up, that would have been catastrophic. Kiss me, are you still with us? Yeah, someone actually whispered to me in uh, Mumble side. I just tell him I'm in a cast right now. But yeah, tanked, that would have been detrimental if that hit actually caused a lot more damage there. Bravo got up just in the amount of time. And, I mean, this is going to be huge here for LSD if they actually make it past the tank. Boom gets, goes and gets a proxy out onto one of the survivors. And, I mean, this is huge from Flyby. One of the best tanks in the world yet again. And who knows? We'll, let's, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. We will wait and see what happens. He is still on first pass. And I'm looking at it. They're gonna He's have, to have a try cap here. He's going in. So that's gonna be for all the marbles here. They're putting Bravo in his face. Spawn tap come up. Flyby going in. Manages the corner. Purple jockey goes out as well. Another punch goes out onto him. But now this jockey. Oh, he clears it. But there's a massive separation right now on Swib as well. Flyby going in there. Managing to get a bunch of punches. As a matter of fact, onto the survivors. Lots of damage. And what the hell? Bravo is trying to try to pick Nick up. But instead, it's gonna get hit. And it's just gonna be Swib. Last one up. Rockman just a miss. This tank still has 800 health backing off here right now, but an insane amount of damage going out on the LSD. Flyby doing his job here. Too much separation from the survivors. Rock flying in. Not going to land. Boomer is in spawn queue. Spawning up right now. Tank is running in. They managed to get purple back up. I mean, and now they're going to go around here. Tank is still at 390, but he's on first pass. And kiss me, this could be this could be the turnaround point. This is pretty much a dead tank, though. This tank's dead at this point. We we will definitely see LSD get the rest of the survivors up here, and they'll continue on the way, probably for a little bit more distance. Not sure if they'll make the safe room, but LSD they're pretty much out of it right now. They don't know the tank's sitting this low on HP right now, but obviously with the tank playing this passive, they have to you know guess that something is up here. And with his tank trying to peek for some rage here, he's still on first pass, 45% actually. The attack is coming here, charging is shut down right away. Jockey lands their shell with a little bit of damage. Oh, oh, also wow. latching onto purple there. And Star was going to be able to push away forward here. They're sitting really low on health though. Bravo is actually black and white now, because that was his second down when he got downed up in the ceiling of the. Uh, no, I don't, think, I don't think that was him. But the, regardless, Flyby he is, is keeping on this tank. Flyby is keeping sight, but now he is dead. But that right there, I'm going to be honest, I'm disappointed with the way LSD took that, because that's usually a very easy tank for survivors. Yeah. I The back of the uh, the tractor trailer there. Actually, no time coming here. Smoke getting cut down immediately though, and Boomer going and gets popped right away. Spirit spawning up above here, looking to delay. I'm guessing. Or no, goes right down, gets oh, a Bravo. kill on Bravo. Yeah, that's unfortunate right here. So they're gonna have to make the rest of the distance. Obviously, this is Envy's chance. We know how we know how high powered that Envy survivor can be, and this is their shot right here. Kiss me. I mean, unfortunately for Elski, they weren't able to reserve bonus. They Played the tank a little bit sloppily, I'd say, with that separation that came out. Great infected play by NV. And they have the tri cap here to end it, as a matter of fact. Don't do NV. Jockey, Spitter, Hunter, and a Charger for this hit. Spitter spawns up. Jockey from the back. Spit goes down. Hunter lands in front. Spit stumble does go out, but does get cleared. Charger spawning in the back, too. Getting really shot in the face here. But Coach M2 is the jockey. Then also manages to do a nice job of killing that Charger. So no tri cap. But all LSD can do right here is make distance kiss me. And then they need to play a phenomenal tank. Yeah, Swift doing an amazing job there, shutting down the Jockey and Charger as they're trying to tag team him on top of the uh, cylinder there. Or, I don't know what you would call it, the tanker? Silo. Silo? Okay. Yeah. But, amazing job by him shutting that down, keeping the Survivor Dream Hope alive of making the safe room. And they're going to be able to do it, albeit only three Survivors will be walking in there. Boomer proxies on to Alice here, but they should be able to get in there. Hunted beautifully skied there by Swift, just picking him from behind. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah. Shoot the Smoker's got me! Wow. <laughs> about that.
Well, I hate to say it, guys, Remix ain't coming back. <laughs> Alright, there, Remix. Good job, Remix. Leave so, it. okay. Leave, leave it to Remix. Everybody got a can. I got mine. Yeah, that is, that is amazing. They're saying God bless America in chat as Ellis is pinned up against the door. But, uh, yeah. Oh, man. But you know what? I'm checking scores right here, and LSD are up by 1,103 points before Envy survive around on map three, but that is nothing for Envy at some points. Like, they can really get working. They can really catch on fire in an instant with their survivor play, and this is now the shoes on the other foot. We saw the matchup between... LSD survivor and Envy's infected, but now they need to play a great infected round to LSD to stop Envy's survivor. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely Envy's map to make a, a bit of a comeback here if they're not stopped. That's an okay tank, though, depending on where they decide to take it, though. If they decide to stay in the field there, it relies heavily on the SI. And SI will see an early hitter coming in. Smoke a charger, Jockey, all that to sign a tank right, gang up on the Sorry, There's nothing to come from. Actually, Jockey lines onto Nick there, and Spit will be down on top of that. That's a, damage. a lot of damage actually coming out from that. What started off really crappy for the, the SI turned into something really crappy for the survivors, actually. <laughs> That was a nice turnaround for them, and they're going to have a hit up for the field here. Albeit a little bit late, they're going to have a hit up. But it's going to be spotty as to what it is exactly. Uh, I believe it was Smoker that died first, and then Charger, if I'm not mistaken. So they're going to have a Smoker, most likely. Yeah, I'm looking at it. It's going to be a... Okay, they're going to sack Boomer. They have a Jockey spawned up as well. And now we're going to see a Smoker pull go out. Charger and Jockey both going in. They managed to land the charge. Going out there, and now that's going to be a massive amount of damage. Jockey going in for the cover here, trying to catch, trying to catch him, but that's going to be almost a full down onto Machina. A lot of damage being pushed on Ellis. Beautiful late hit coming out there by Team LSD, and Machina gets dropped in the yellow. He will take that second set of pills down inside the shack there. I just got, I guess there were two sets of pills in there all along, but a beautiful hit there by LSD. Envy not taking all that well, and there's going to be another hit for the top of the elevator. And it, Indeed. I mean, oh they have God. a spitter, they have a boomer. Now I'm looking. I'm looking also now. If they get a charger here, they could go for something crazy. But it's gonna be a two-two, and now we are gonna see a triboom going out here on survivors, and they're probably just gonna take their time. And I don't know. Kiss me. Do you go for a death charge or do you not? I mean, they could. I mean, there's not really witch anywhere close for them to actually work with the witch is way up ahead in the actual factory itself. I, I probably wouldn't go for the death charge. I feel damage is more susceptible here, and you can get the wipe with the tank if you get enough bleeding, because then you force Envy into a situation where they have to be more aggressive with the tank. They can't sit back and just let them rock tank the entire day. So it's either LS, LOS incredibly hard, put yourselves in a bad spot where you can get boomed or hit by the SI really easily, or you have to push a tank or push forward. Um, yeah, I, I would go for damage. That's my thought. I'm looking up... I'm looking actually, I'm looking up towards where the SI are going to be playing on spawning. Smoker's going to spawn inside there. Hunter manages again. Nice cap. Charter goes in there, manages to miss. And we're going to see that spit go down on not much of anything. But then a little bit more, a little bit more chip coming out. But not, not really a whole lot. And this tank's going to be clutch here, kiss me. Yeah, whoever does manage to get this tank for LSD, this is make or break here, as we said. Envy has a lot of health bonus coming to this open field here. An 888 health bonus. Obviously, that is going to take down a little bit with the bleed out that does occur. But... That's still a lot of health bonus, and they don't want Envy to make the health the safe room with any health bonus, because they only made it with three people and zero health bonus. Well, not zero health bonus. They had like a 50-something health bonus. Let me check that really fast. A 54 health bonus. Reloading. So they had a little few slivers of solid, probably. Or maybe that was just temporary. It was most likely temporary. I take it all back. I'm a liar. But yeah, we will see the Swarovski pushing up here towards the witch. We will see the next stack here probably initiate when this witch is drawn. And yeah, it looks like Alice will be the one to take it. Indeed, and that jockey does bump on the side over there. Running in, it's going to be a boomer, a spinner, and a smoker for the rest of the hit. They could try to make something happen here, obviously. Which is going to get drawn right here. Smoker pull misses. Spit goes down on Ellis. Going in there, they're going to get a nice double boom going in, but they're going to run up top there. Still trying to annihilate that witch. Indeed, they get it, but the smoker pull does go out onto Kimchi in the front. Not getting cleared, and he's going to be slow. Nice boomer cover as well. What damage here, kiss me. That was beautiful. I mean, the witch did, obviously didn't get the hit that LSD wanted, but Envy taking it very well, except for the pull on the neck. That's going to drop Suika down into the red, which is pretty much just the same as yellow, except it's obviously lower than yellow. And he's going to be slow here. And now we're going to have to see where Envy actually decides to take this, and we will kick it over to an LSD worm. Remix. But, oh, it is Remix. This is big. Yeah, it is. Little, oh, little, you know what? Little prodigy child himself. <laughs>
Indeed, in the hands of Remix. Obviously, won the grand finals of Modular for Dead on this map. Seeing now this boomer getting popped. Remix is cycling. Hunter gets killed. Going to the right hand side here. And this will be a good time, I think, gets me to go to an LSD Worm. Because Envy are pushing this tank. Yep, most only will be. Let's go ahead right to it. Just go for it down. Go for it down on Nick. Oh, Wait, what that's coming. Wow. LSD? Envy flipping everything on its head right here, pushing that tank with an insane amount of aggression, and they just destroyed Remix's tank. He tried to cycle out, he tried not to take chip, he ran and tried to get a corner, but they just murdered Remix's tank. Reload. Remix? They murdered Remix's tank. That is insane, and that is a huge Reload. blunder by LSD. Envy now, they're still carrying a 600-some bonus here. Hunter spawned in the back, and they need, to, they need to do work right here. They're going to have it go in here right now, and we're going to see a nice pounce land onto the pull guy, but that's going to be pretty clear. Smoker pull goes out onto him too, so that's going to be more damage. Dropping the bonus to 600, but still, big, big, big blunder from LSD. Remix? You okay. What did Remix just do? I mean, I'm not one to criticize Remix. I, I love him. He was my on well, my first left footed two team ever. But what was that Remix? When you watch this, I want to know what that was. <laughs> he literally just pushed a tank in, and then it's, when two so I was, I guess he wanted to climb the ladder of a solid. That's the only thing I can think of. But then he just he decided to back up, and they just surrounded him. And with no SI up, it was a dead tank. He got one rock on the coach. What was that? That's Remix? huge. I don't know, but it's going to be a jockey, a boomer, a spitter, and a charger here for this last hit for LSD. They need to get on Hansuki. They need to get on Flyby and Machina here. Kimchi doesn't really have a whole lot of bonus left, and Envy are doing the baiting game. Kiss me, this could be almost tied going into finale, or into fourth map. Yeah, we might even see Envy take the lead here if uh, you know, it is a possibility, and it, it might certainly will be. I mean, the health bonus is sitting at a 668 right now. I believe that would give them the lead, if I'm not mistaken. We have Boomer going here, initiating on the Nick. He's barely any health bonus, though, with only a little red sliver health bonus left. So that's pretty much the damage bonus right now. And the SI being spawned right now, they're not going to come out him. Charger is looking to come from the back there. Jockey from the side and Spitter from the top. So they have a good amount of damage that can be pushed out here on the survivors. Attack is coming here, though. Jockey Charger spawning up with the Spitter. And Jockey falls down. Going to climb up through the window here. Charger charges one inside this, the room on the side there. Spitter gets Spit shut down knows. before being able to actually get the spit off, though. Yeah, that's going to be a 574 point health bonus right here for NV. Rolling their way along, and kiss me, this was the map that happened. Envy working their way back, showing their ridiculously dominant survivor play. They push Remix's tank, and they made him pay, and they are going to take the lead. All right, now I'm sweating for LSD, because as we see right now, they are in the lead by 100 and approximately, uh, what's that, 41 points? Screw approximate, that's exact. And yeah, I mean, it's not looking too good. 59, 59 points. It's, it's not looking too good right now. Um, it, it, if that tank is for any sort of precursor to what the rest of these maps hold, LSD's in trouble. <laughs> I don't know what happened with that tank, but LSD can't let that happen again because that was their map to you know, pull even further ahead, but the tank got absolutely demolished there by NV. So hopefully they can pull it back together because this is going to be the first map that we're going to see NV over on the survivor half, you know, past that first map. And this is going to be an amazing, uh, an amazing coincidence, or not, not an amazing coincidence, but an amazing circumstance here, because the tank is at 21%. It's going to be a Bravo tank, and Bravo needs to make work happen right here. Like, they need to shut Envy down, and for everything they've done this map so far, it's been a very, very long time, since EQ Grand Finals, as a matter of fact, EQ number 3 Grand Finals, that I've seen Envy get actually wiped on a tank. So, if they're going to pull this out, LSD needs to wipe Envy here, I would say. Because this map is a piece of cake with the rest of it. I'm currently reading chat. Everyone's just making fun of me because I just kept saying Remix. I love you guys. But yeah, we're going to be live here with the fourth map. Envy over on the survivor half. LSD on the SI after that uh, lackluster tank, to say at least, performance there by Remix. And yeah, we're going to see a Charger with a Smoker, Boomer, and a... Who's the fourth? Hunter. So and a decent attacker could get a lot of separation here, especially in this water that slows him down. The water Solana is a little bit less than it usually is in vanilla, though. Uh, it used to be pretty heavy, but we lessened a little bit, so the survivors can have a little bit more freedom here. But that's more during tank. 
during... I think it's actually default here before tank. Actually, there's tank. So the water level surround is less than... Charger, nice! Oh, double cap landing! Oh, triple cap! Dry cap lands by LSD here. We're seeing that Hunter and that Smoker both landing. Boomer going in for the cover right now. We don't have time for War Room. Car in the hands of Bravo flying into the air. Falling down and capping Ellis. Going down, getting that initial cap in. Tri Boom lands again. Bravo knocking the cars in. Flying in right there, right next to Flyby. He's gonna go in there and push in before they can get those caps. Going in there, knocks the car, in capping Flyby. Going in, punching Ellis across the map. Car flying in, skips over Ellis' head. Support coming up right now. Car going flying out yet again. Tank hiding, going back in. Rochelle still fighting off Common Rock. Landing onto Ellis. Smoker pull going out to Rochelle. Charger going in, gets level, but the tank is right there. He gets another hit on the flyby going in. Misses his punch on the flyby there. We have a car flying back over there, not gonna land. Two cap does land, pushing in right now. Going in, gets another hit on the flyby, in caps him. Actually, no, sorry, that was Ellis. He in caps him instead. In cap on the coach right now. Two survivors left up, pushing in, 400 health. Gets a punch on the kimchi, another punch on the kimchi, and what a tank by Bravo. Absolutely massive damage. That car hit was insane. It jumped right on top of us. And it's just a black and white with that second down coming from the punches of the tank that's gonna be what two actually black and white machina also black and white upon get up huge tank by blubs aka bravo that car initiate was amazing and that si attack was perfection another tech coming in here Bruma gets a nice initiation boom on the coach here and we have a hunter with the charger look and make it something else happen here not too sure what the third spawn is as of just coming up right now it will be a spitter so a decent amount of chance here for some damage but they might just hold this and wait for the alley but i mean they look will. at envy's health to. And Look at Envy's it. health, Envy's health is completely annihilated, and Flyby and Machina are both black and white. Oh my God, that car! The angle, <laughs> the angle I had—it just hit the telephone pole, jumped straight on top of Alice's head. Oh my God! Hunter spawns up on the side here, bouncing around. Seeing him go in there, we're gonna actually see him get dead stop, not gonna land. Charger goes in there, manages a miss, and then almost catches Rochelle on the turnaround. Machina getting pulled into spit. He's Machina. almost dead. He is one health point, black and white. One hit from a common will kill him. Common's going in from the back. Ellis doesn't see him. Get dead. Oh my god! The ninja common! The, the ninja. common went in there and completely just wrecked Ellis's day. Three survivors left right here for Team Envy. And it's coming here, kiss me. This could be the, another turnaround map here. Boomer spawning up, missing completely. It's gonna be a spitter, a jockey, and a hunter. But that ninja common, they are playing one survivor down now. They're gonna send a hit. You can see the hunter going there, trying to land on a flyby. Lands onto him. Jockey manages to land onto Hansuki, but flyby survives. They're reloading here, not able to clear him right away. And Envy. Oh my god, they could not have taken that much damage at the tank, and they could not have let that death go out yet. They have found no pills, and Kimchi's about to be slow as well. They're running. They know it's distance at this point, because Flyby's at that 1 HP marker, black and white. He's now as slow as you can get in this game, Nick and he's going to die. Charger charges him off! Charging Kimchi down there. He tried to pull the witch. He is completely separated from his team. The That's witch is glitch is now free. Seeing the boomer spawn up there is going to miss. But that witch is gonna make short work of Kimchi and he is dead. Charger turns around. Smoker gets it. That is the wipe on to Team NV from Team Long Long Dudes, only letting them have 348 points in map four. And now the ball is in their court once again. I'm I don't even know what to say here. I, I'm gonna actually I'll have us out of game here for one second. I'm going to unmod my Nightbot because he is being an absolute douchebag to you guys in chat. I want you guys to scream. I want you guys to have a good time here, and he's just not having any of that. Your bot? Who's doing this? Uh, Nightbot. It's being a douchebag. I don't like it. All right, you guys should be able to scream now without getting timed out or anything. If you guys do, let me know yet again. Um, yeah, sorry about that. People were screaming in chat. Here we he was go. Him out. Kiss me. I think what we need to do right now is I think we need to send this for this entire duration, at least till after the tank. I think we deserve to give this to an LSD war room. I, I, I'm. Oh my god, that tank, you couldn't have gotten any better here. Ready up! And I'm gonna ready up. I, hey, I was all tapped out. We're back in now. It's okay. But yeah, we're gonna it's toss right. this right so over now, to an I LSD. Think, yeah, we're gonna toss this right over to right now. How about we just do it? LSD Let's war room, and this is their chance. Good luck, LSD. You shoot me again, and I will drop you. This is exactly what we're doing. I'm, I'm gonna keep pretending to clear common, and then I'm gonna start ghosting. I'm just gonna block everything to the left. Like, I'm gonna take that left, and then jump on the electric thing, and then block everything. 
So all you guys have to worry about is the fucking front. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Someone pretend to kill Common. Where are you uh, going to the left or Someone left? pretend to kill Common. I'm going to the left. You're dropping. Everyone's dropping forward. Don't go to the right. Okay. Keep pretending. I'm just blocking. Don't get wall kicked. We might need you. I got pulled. I got pounced. Watch that boomer. Go, go, get up the thing, get up the thing. I'm blocking, I'm blocking it. Get up the thing. Watch your car. Watch boomer and charger up here. Car. Watch boomer. Two. Two boom, two car, boom. Car, 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 car. Car, car, car. Smoker's dead, by the way. They're all these common. Car front, car front. <gasps> car. Missed. Car's about to come in. He's only got that one car up there. Just just so you know, everything else is in the back. Okay. Block the Shotgun, stay with me to block this. Yeah, yeah. Reloading. He fell. Oh, he fell. Yeah. Kill this thing. Oh, no, really Kill shit. this thing. Kill this fucking thing. Clear this. Tracker. Rock heads. Rock, 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 rock. Come forward? Yeah, there's no cars. Zero cars. He's gonna cars. hit one over. He's gonna hit one over. Just, just play over here. Okay, okay, okay. Stay, stay, stay. Stay on the roof. Get on the roof. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just watch me. I'm fine. He has a car. Car. car watch car. the cars out of play LOS he's coming in he's pushing in drop on the ground if you have to pull boomer down boomer down kill this he's on me he's on me drop over here guys fuck clear kill this tank go he's forward have he a has car. like one HP go forward come on let's go watch car 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 car, yeah, car, car, car. car. I can't dodge it Dude, no. Kill the tank, kill the tank. Don't let him get to the cars. Get the pickup, get the pickup. Just get the pickup. Dead. Let's... The tank is dead! One down! Only sideways bots catching that car at the end. Beautiful SI support being shut down right there. Be uh, yeah, beautiful SI support being shut down. It was beautiful SI support, but the shutdowns were better. LSD doing a great job right there, and that... We're all typing OMG in chat right here because there are three more hits for Envy to give LSD and they are carrying an insane bonus. It's a boomer, a charger, a spitter, and a jockey right here. Don't let out yet. The shit can still happen. The match is still live. And this is their this is their shot. Boomer spawning in the back, going near the alarm car. What a propane tank! <laughs> Blowing up that boomer. Jockey going there, gets dead stopped and shut down. Charger recharging in, manages to land on a remix. Spit gets cleared. Now gonna make remix is gonna make his way out of the spit, but after the wipe on the Envy, killing Three SI su uh, supports right there. Three cycles of SI support. That tank landing one car. And LSD are working their way. Working their way ever so closely. Bravo pushing his way up here now. Jockey, Smoker, and then two other spawns into Q. Bravo's outside. And if Envy aren't careful, this could be the last hit, kiss me. Yeah, I mean, we're not used to having or listening to actual LSD calls. Usually they're just joking around the war rooms and... I mean, in that warm, you heard Bravo telling everyone what you're doing. Like, this is what you're going to do as soon as I push out of the safe room. I'm going to go hop on the generator, and all of you are dropping straight the hell down and going forward towards the <laughs> truck. Like, that is what you're doing. You don't make an excuse. That's what you're doing. And that was unbelievable. Uh, Bravo asking, can we avoid witches? Uh, I'm not an admin, but I believe that's they a yes. Hold on a second, what? He's asking if they can avoid witches. I think that's they, don't, they, they don't. They don't have to kill the witch now. Can, can you ask me? Actually, I'll, I'll. Yeah, hold on a second. Where is he? Yeah, that's basically why they paused. They want to know, I guess, if they could, you know, avoid the witch. I probably shouldn't have said that in stream because now that might reach them before the they actually push past this. 
But regardless of that, they are going to be live here once again. And it looks like, obviously, from what they just asked me, they are looking to avoid the switch here. Jockey spun up on the roof, though, and the survivors know that. They can obviously hear it. Boomer survivor on the top of the balcony, missing the boom up by wow. inches on Elsa's That's head. Huge. You saw the boom hit the back they're, of the fence. They're going to go to the left right here. Charger jumping in, man. Just a miss. Bravo. Jockey lands. That's a clear. That's a charger shutdown. That's an easy and witch they if they want the witch. it. And now Bravo. Bravo's Bravo. going for Bravo. Actually, you know what? Oh, we no, Kui's like Swim missed the crown though, so that's not going to be in damage on the health bonus. They obviously <laughs> swim. <laughs> obviously swim, swim. God damn it, that's Bravo's job to miss the crown. What are you doing? But instead, Th there is just going to be a smoker up here. Smoker, hunter, spitter. They've managed to put Ellis in the safe room. Last hit coming in. Smoker trying to pull, gonna miss. Jockey's in. They're in the safe room. That's a 624 difference. 300, 3,880, 3,245 going into finale. That guarantees them a tank. That guarantees them full distance to fall back on right there. Oh my god. It's happening, Kiss Me. It is happening right in front of our faces at the moment. I literally just yelled at Bravo. I said you could freaking avoid the witch. And so we said, I got this. And he went for it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking to it! Almost back to the boat. Oh my god, we're gonna see the break! This is gonna break Envy's win streak! This right, is gonna be the match! We don't know! We don't know, Kiss Me! Alright, let's it's... look at this logically. Listen, 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 there's listen, 600 listen. and... There's about 600 and, what, 35 points separating the teams right now, score-wise? In order for, you know, Envy to actually have a chance, they would have to wipe before the first tank here and make the boat with some health bonus. But we know that we know that's probably gonna happen here. Alice is gonna... LSD is going to make that first tank. So that gives them another 300 free points here. And so that's going to put a, a huge separation bonus. That's going to be over 900 point separation. I, I don't know. It's going to be hard. I don't know. It's going to be hard, but Envy is the one team in the world I say can do it. Either them or LSD at this point. Spitter, Boomer, Hunter, Smoker. This could be it. This could be the breaking of Envy's streak right here on this on this match right here. Hunter bouncing around in the tree, going in there, and Brimmer's gonna get shut down. Spit's going nowhere. Tongue immediately cleared, and this is what we've seen pretty much all game. Kiss Let me, them the donuts shutdowns. rack up. Let the donuts rack up. Only two points coming up by Flyby, and that was Spit damage. You have to be unbiased, goddamn. How can I, America? Come on. <laughs> LSD have a chance to do. What so far Apollyon couldn't do, but Apollyon actually cracked during. VOB got beaten by about 4,000 points, and we had the Wolfpack lose in heartbreaking fashion, but they can do it right here. Over 4,000 points already for LSD. And then we're gonna see a boomer getting popped yet again. Hunter goes to manage to land, but instantly cleared. Jockey going in, trying to land, nothing going, nothing going. LSD's back into their old form that we saw during the first two maps, shutting out everything that gets in their crosshair away. And they've done an amazing job. Two of the survivors backing down in the backfield there, grabbing melees from the truck. The melees are underwater for these they don't know. And LSD looking in fine form. Fly by up to three points of SI damage. Everyone else sitting at those zeros, visiting Dunkin' Donuts and NV. No, they're 2-2. Two, two. They aren't paying attention to sack order. It's a boomer, a spitter, a smoker, and a hunter for this hit for NV. They are rattled. You can tell it. You can just tell the NV are rattled from this. Because they, they usually they'd be having the perfect sack or they'd be having tri caps. They they like being able to put the other team under their control. Boomer gets popped. Smoker pull does go on to Ellis, but he is gonna get free from that very quickly. Hunter is down. Tank is up in the hands of Machina for Team NV. And this is all NV has left. They need a wipe at this tank, kiss me. This is gonna be absolutely huge for them. I don't know if we should do an L C D war room for this and then. No, we're keeping it like, here. Alright, we're gonna keep this here. We'll, we'll keep it here. <laughs> I, I'm, we're keeping this here. Okay, kiss my me nerve. can't speak, but I'm still okay. Uh, I'm, I'm still okay right now. I think we can do this. Machina car. throwing a car in, hits the top of the okay. bouncing okay. back to the ground. Jockey smoker charger here for the rest of the hit. L S D bouncing around that car is on the roof smoker trying to go for the pole gets cleared that car is having no luck tank is already down to 5500 health that car goes bouncing across there for no apparent reason missing that car hit as well charger charging in immediately killed car missing jockey m2 jockey shut down after landing that's actually no jockey got him on the bottom i thought he was gonna get shut down but no said purple got a little bit of a jock there but instead machina trying to keep sight chipped down to about 5k hp and is now losing and lsd are moving right here to try to push him out of that sight range now they're going to quickly make their way back to the roof machina with only 5k hp left on this tank he's already he's already been chipped down over a thousand points they need a hit here or they need to send this they need to send this tank in relatively soon he's going for the back actually looks as though he's going to come he's up gonna charge his hunter smoker he's in he's going to go in here right now lsd working their way around smoker pull misses 
Smoke and Pole's about to get shut down if they're not careful. Tank going in. Hunter going for Rochelle. Not landing. Tank gets an initial punch there. Pole goes out. That's a nice two cap landing. Right next to a car, but the smoker gets cleared. Seeing the hunter trying to cover Coach. Coach gets the clear on the charger. Tank down to 300 HP. There's a survivor right there. The car. That car. He got the car to purple. Double car hit lands. Machina knocking this around, but he's not going to wipe them. Only two downs taken from LSD on the tank. That is as good as you can hope for. Basically, all I see wants right now is the distance. They don't really care about the health ones because the tank and the SI on their half is going to do a lot of work to NV. And they know that. I mean, they can just whittle them down and get them below the health ones that they need. As it sits right now, they're almost a thousand points above NV. So that means NV is going to have to make the boat. And I believe this map's actually only worth 800 or is it 700? Did they lower it? Max distance is 600. 600, wow. So they have they to get to a make 400 it, health bonus. Point, at this plus point. at least 400 bonus. And that's if they stop. That's if they stop hard, I want to say hard to kill, but they're not hard to kill. This is team fucking long schlong dudes, and they need to stop them right here. We're going to see that smoker pull manage them this there. Charger going in at the front as well. That charger's going to get nailed down. Absolutely annihilating that hit once again with just a single boom going out. This is team long schlong dudes representing America right here, and they are about to pull off. Yeah, this is exactly what that is. This is exactly, <laughs> this is exactly what no team has been able to do since the second custom campaign tournament, and NV are on the ropes in a big way. Uh. <laughs> Smoker, Hunter, Jockey, Boomer for the next hit from NV. Uh, we've lost Kissy because of my wordplay. Now we're gonna see this Hunter standing in the back. They're actually anticipating a dash to the boat right now, and Long Shlong are actually just sitting here. They're, they're playing the waiting game too. Points are just ticking up here right now, and Envy's not sure whether they should hit or whether they should wait. The boat is about to be here. Yeah, the boat's coming. Fact, there's Virgil. Boat is coming. Smoker Hunter, Jockey Boomer. What a pop! What a pop by Purple onto that Boomer. This is this is massive. They're sitting at 632 health bonus right here before this hit. They are working their way forward. Hunter below, Jockey sitting right there. They're coming down, Hunter manages to land, gets cleared, but now we actually have a pull going up top, that's a two cap. Two cap needs to get cleared right now, but that's actually a beautiful hit from NV. Seeing him go in the back here now, but that's onto the non-bonus. Getting cleared right there, Purple is down by that Hunter, but they're gonna pick him up, and that right there, that two cap would have done it, but that, or at least done it partially for the round, but that was on the non-bonus. They're gonna pick him back up, they're distributing pills, the boat is here. Spit delay going in, pull going out. Getting cleared, and team Long Schlong dudes are about to make history, and they just 5K'd NV. Oh my god. I can't believe Suika checking the health bonus. Everybody checking the health bonus. No one can believe it. A 536. 5,030. 5,016 points against Team NV. 5K. Versus NV, this forces NV to get, if I'm not mistaken, this forces NV to get an 1800 point chapter, and Long Schlong dudes are 30, 29 points of damage away from handing NV their first loss since the second custom campaign tournament right here in the sixth round of RBT. They have all but done it, and this has been an amazing showing from what we can definitely say, despite their loss to Apion in the second round, is the best team in the United States. I I don't even know what to say. I mean, I, I always thought LSD was our best hope, and it, I mean, this just furthers that point. I mean, Wolfpack can even keep on part NV, but LSD... I mean, we said it before the cast, we didn't think any team would come in here and manhandle NV, but LSD on some of these rounds, especially that round, they kind of, you could almost get away with saying they manhandled NV. Like, they worked them, and they did an amazing job shutting down every single boom that NV threw at them. And LSD, ah, they're gonna win. <laughs> Oh They're making Kiss Me make a bunch of noises here because as soon as this next hit goes in, we will be able to put the official stamp on it unless NV literally get the mythical perfect round here. But with the way in which Long Shlong has played in this game, the way in which <laughs> Bravo joining saying I shit hip straps in my sleep. <laughs> that is gonna put the exclamation mark on it right here. Swib's gonna ready up and Kiss Me get ready to call it because whatever marker NV keeps on their group. That one loss is, in all seriousness, in all probability, unless a miracle occurs, about to turn into a two. I have rechecked my math. The most they can get is a 1,800-point chapter here, and Envy are about to leave the safe room. We're seeing to see a boomer, a smoker, a hunter, and a spitter 
from Long Shlong Dudes on this hit. And this is for all the marbles. Like, Envy needs to literally not take, like, more than three points of damage here in order for them in order for them to survive here. And Kiss me, I know you're building up your excitement here. You can see how Hunter this first spit. hit goes in. Hunter spit. That's Hunter all they spit need. Is what you're thinking. That's all they need to confirm this. Just get this. the spit down on They're the cap. They're ghosting out. Envy doing all they can. They've still played a nice game, but we're going to see a boomer get popped. Pull gets cleared. Hunter gets it. Spit, spit is down. down. Game over. Game over. That is it. The max they can get right now is 1760. It isn't enough. Long, strong dudes have defeated Envy. So that's going to move LSD up to a 5-1 record, and they might even be placed first in the seedings. I'm not yes. too sure how the resistance points are working out, but LSD might actually claim first spot. Envy will have to settle for second. Hey, watch out. Oh my god. They, they're either going to get first or second, but Team Long Schlong Dudes has just punched their way through the RBT Finals bracket, and they have done it in one of the best played matches by any team. I have ever seen. They throw off on a neutral server for the most part, even. And this jockey's going out in kimchi. Like, you can't claim it was ping imbalance. You can't claim it was lack of team chemistry. You can't claim it was lack of LSD scrimming. And you can't claim that it wasn't a Hyper V server. Because guess what? Sick Up Kids servers are better than the Hyper V servers ever in America. This is it. Long Shlong dudes from the beginning, they outplayed Envy, they out strategized them, they out baited them, and they won this match. Wonderfully played by LSD. I mean, four out of the five maps, they did an amazing job of shutting down Envy. And it was only on the third map that we really saw Envy make a comeback and, you know, take back that lead, obviously. All the other maps were LSDs. Beautifully charged coming in here after getting smoked there. And Nick will be pinned in the spit there for a few more ticks of damage. But, I mean, the nails are in the coffin. It's over. Like, LSD has the W here. Envy will be your losers. And LSD, they worked Envy. I, don't, I can't think of any other words to say. They, they worked NV, and I can't wait to see this rematch in the finals. I'm sure we're going to have the somewhere in the finals brackets. These two teams will meet. They will reunite. And then we also have the Wolfpack versus NV game. Hopefully that one happens before that LSD versus NV. Or maybe we'll see an Wolfpack versus LSD. Who knows? Who knows? But, but LSD, LSD ain't missing this finals for nothing. You could have put what many say to be the best team in the world in their face, and they have done it. That is pretty much... That's pretty much it. And now we're going to see this tank up in the hands of Swib. We have a jockey going in. We're going to see that going in right now. Hunter as well. Rock lands. And LSD Envy knows it's over. But they haven't yet given up. But neither have Long Schlong dudes. And you know what kiss me it is with great pride that I do say that we give them this last worm of the game to hear how they are going to play this out. Yeah, I can only imagine what gifts you guys are posting in chat. I'm, I, I hope they're appropriate. But I'm sure you guys are going to make memes about this and whatnot. But yeah, let's just go and toss this right over to an LSD Worm. Last Worm of the game. Two-year champions, possibly first seed of RBT, going into the finals bracket. What more there is to say? Do it. Do it. You guys got a hit? Ready? Yeah, give me a sec. Oh, I got this boom. You guys got Ready. Fuck. Let's get to the rock. Is today Saturday? Friday. What the fuck is today? Friday. Dude! Fucking gym closes in one hour and twenty minutes. Can we fucking hurry up? Teach me how to lift, bravo. I need to go pump those biceps so I can fuck every single bitch on earth. Kid, nice. Like him? Like him, yeah. Sick. Ready to get ahead? Yeah. Good hit. Oh, you got the rock. Nice. Best jockey support ever. I'm gonna have to start moving in. I can take the roof, actually. I'm a charger. Yeah, just go when you gotta go, bro. We'll help you. He's got that hoe. Nice boat. Oh. Let's help. Let's help. Let's help. Behind you, behind you. Yo, idiot loser. I thought. Oh, oh. oh my god. Unaware smoker gets saved. I'm not the worst smoker. I'm I was playing. Bro. Fuck you. Get out. <laughs> No! Oh my...
We are back. That was the last worm and the last tank of the game. 14 long long dudes. They have beaten NV on this map as well, solidifying their win. And kiss me, we just saw one of the most impressive games I have ever seen a team ever play. And, and they beat their health bonus. Long dudes. LSD beat NV's health bonus on this map as well. So four out of five maps going to LSD, securing the win even more. I mean, it's not even near this point, but. Oh my god, and that worm was fantastic. That was an amazing worm by LSD. Bravo and Purple talking about how they're going to go to the, uh, the gym and lift weights. For particular reasons, I'm not going to say. <laughs> See, a hunter, and actually a hunter manages to take that air. Charger gets a beautiful charge and does get cleared. Fly by taking even more damage from that spit. But LSD knocking off NV, and that is going to be the first time NV has lost a game, I will say it again, since the second custom campaign tournament. And that's I mean, what else can we time. say? I mean, that's all there is to say how this game. NV is going to lose their first game in, what, almost a year? Dude, it's been a hilariously long time. I think it's been almost a year, if not more than a year. It, it's really close. It was around the year marker, that's all I know. I don't know when the last time CCT was or when they actually got their loss during it. But we're going to see a boomer going in here, getting the initiation boom onto Nick. Pole goes down onto Coach here. Charger Spitter still coming in. Spitter's already spat though, so that's out of the equation. Boomer will proxy though onto Coach, and Charger's still running around here, not going to land onto Hansuki though. And that's going to be the boat making his way over here, but they have to get Coach up and then make their way around the rest I'll of the I'll be honest, the, the point that this game, the point that turned this game in LSD's favor was Bravo's tank map four. Like, we can say all we want about LSD's survivor, but Bravo and his SI support with those hittable controls, they played a ridiculous tank on map four, and LSD, they scored over 5k points, but they held that survivor of Envy in check. That being said, Envy does make the boat here. Actually, no, Coach gets, pull, gets pulled out, but then they do manage to make the boat. The final score of this game is going to come out to be something that's extremely close. Less than a thousand points, obviously. 5,016 to 4,129, but that's the exclamation point because in four maps out of five, long schlong dudes out Duke Denvi, and they are going to be either the number one or the number two seed in the RBT tournament after that game. And that, my good friend, was one cast for the ages. That was probably the most hyped game I've ever seen of Left 4 Dead 2, and it, it delivered. Not gonna lie, that game freaking delivered. That was unbelievable by both teams. Unfortunately, Envy not being able to actually, you know, live up to what LSD bought to this game. And I mean, LSD, they practiced this week. That was the first time we actually saw LSD practice, and I was pretty amazed to actually see them doing that. But... They did it, and they came into this game, and they took the W. Like, they said, we're hungry, and we know if we don't get this win, it puts us on the line for not even making the finals brackets. But they did that, and now we're going to see Longshot Dudes getting that Golden Star, solidifying their place in the finals brackets with a 5-1 record. And we have some more games going. And actually, your game doesn't really dictate who goes in. You guys are more just playing for numbers at this point. Our next game will be a part yeah. on Verse VOV Gaming. Right now, as a matter of fact. Right now. Oh, God, I got to find I a think caster. Ish. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you do have to find a caster, but... Yeah, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go, first I'm going to change my underwear, and then I'm going to play this match, so, what a beautiful game. I want to take a shower. And... I, I just feel like a change of clothes ain't going to clean this. I feel really dirty after that game. That was, that was something special.